<clears throat> we had a game, um, I want to say it's almost three years ago when Devontae and them were here, but we are kind of on a little bit of a roll. And we finally got the students out for an Oregon State game. And we played stuck in the mud. And I feel like we did the exact same thing in this game for whatever reason. I don't think we were very energized. We were sluggish, heavy-legged, stepped slow defensively, and really didn't give uh, Robo a lot of help offensively. Malachi kind of got going late. Now, with that being said, uh, I thought UC Davis just played tremendous. Uh, very well coached tournament team from last year. Uh, has excellent personnel. Uh, they were locked in and focused. And the thing I told this team, uh, they're taking on a whole new role that Washington State has not been in in a while, and that's the hunted. Because they certainly came in here wanting to knock off a team that was hot. Uh, we're going to get that same thing on Wednesday, and we need to make a big adjustment to be able to handle that, just in terms of the intensity and the energy you're going to play with and the fight you have uh, to start a game, because I didn't think it was there with us in this game. We got going a little bit late, but we'd gotten in too big of a hole against too good of a team. You're not going to be able to pull yourself out of all those 20-point-plus 20, 20 uh, first halves and, and things like that. So um, use it for a learning lesson and get moving again. Is there, is there anything that led you to believe this team was going to come out slow or any, anything the last few days before the game, even in warm-ups? Well, we have to battle like crazy uh, down there in Anaheim. Three games in four days. I've tried to give them a, you, you travel back on a, and not to make any excuses, but you, you travel back on a Monday. We gave them Tuesday off, and I just thought practices were a little sluggish, too, on Wednesday, Thursday. We kind of stayed off their legs on Friday. So the early morning game, I don't, I don't know, but, you know, we just didn't have our juice. It didn't seem like to me, like we played with uh, down there, just their fire. When Beyonce Daniels just looked exhausted on the floor from the beginning of the game, Malachi did too, kind of got going late. And really, Franks was the only offense we had for a while. He carried us in the game. We weren't moving, weren't cutting. We didn't get a lot done on the floor offensively or defensively. So did I see any signs of it? The only signs you can see of it is, is realize you got a young team that are in uncharted waters, even though they're undefeated, and realizing that you got a very good team coming in here that's going to come after us, and we didn't respond well. You guys had a few, a few good defensive possessions in the last five minutes where you kind of ran out the shot clock and then forced them to take some bad shots. Why wasn't that happening earlier in the game, do, do you think? Because they were shortening down the game and why they were good defensive possessions. They were running clock, and they weren't looking to score as quickly as they were early on. So it kind of looked like we were playing better defense because they held that ball to like the last 10 seconds, and then they tried to get a shot off, and they were so far away from the bucket uh, that the press kind of bothered them. The one through one bothered them a little bit, but that had nothing to do with any great defensive energy on our part. It was more just by chance. Uh, UC Davis had 42 points in the paint today, kind of manhandled the front line at, at, at some times. Is there any cause for concern with, with the front line after seeing today's game? Well, you saw a, a great player that, that averages a double-double that I thought just tore us apart. Is, is there any cause for concern? Uh, I, I would think that that caliber of player is going to be at Oregon. He's going to be at Arizona. He's going to be at UCLA. He's going to be at USC. So uh, the concern is, how do we get better? And hopefully we can get better. I think we can. Again, I keep saying this team has a lot of growth potential. We're not there yet. The unfortunate thing is we, we wasted a tremendous crowd uh, with the students and people coming out to see this team. They did their part. And in this game, we didn't do our part. That's the bad part about the game. We can bounce back from the L. We can make adjustments. We can get better. But I hate wasting that opportunity with all those kids coming out to see us play. Um, I, I know losses aren't what you guys are looking for, but it's a long basketball season. They're going to happen with a young team like this. And were you kind of waiting for this moment, for a teaching moment um, with this young group? Is this going to be helpful for them? You know, we've had several of those moments. You just never want to lose. I, I'd hate to have to have a loss for a teaching moment. But at, at the same time, uh, it just gives you a chance, I think, to continue to tweak things, be it your, your lineup, uh, uh, some things offensively, defensively. We're not where we need to be yet. I've said that all along. We've played really well, and we played great down in Anaheim, but that has to carry over. The consistency, consistency of it is tough for young teams. If you're going to be a good team, you have to play nine in, nine out, and more importantly for this team, now that people are coming at you. That's a little bit different waters than we've been in before here at Washington State since I've been here. Teams are going to come after them, and they've got to be ready to respond to that. Malachi Flynn and Milan Aqua both have five turnovers to <coughs> Milan's kind of been dealing with the turnover bug this season. Malachi had four total coming in tonight's game. What, what did you see from your guards that maybe they were pressing the issue? Or? 
I, I just didn't feel like they played with uh, great energy and great focus is what I thought. I'll, and I'll have to look at tape to make sure it was totally down and, and not somebody else not being where they needed to be. But uh, I, we were notorious, notorious offensively to start the game. We just got nothing done. We were in no rhythm, no flow. And a lot of that had to do is you, you, you weren't getting enough stops to get out run. And even when we did, we missed a couple wide open shots. And from there, it just kind of knocked us out of rhythm a little bit. Chima Monaki uh, was one of the leading rebounders in the nation. Uh, could you tell me what your game plan was for him to try to keep him off the glass? Number one, try to keep the ball out of his hands. Number two, we felt like he was too active for Robo, so we put Drick on him, and Drick's a pretty active player. But he reminds me a lot of uh, Josh Hawkinson. He's going to go get his numbers. And he's a little bit more athletic than Josh Hawkinson, and so uh, we had a hard time with him, guarding him and everything. And he, I thought he was played tougher, quicker. Uh, very good athlete, very deceiving basketball player. When you see him in person until the game starts, and sure enough, he can, he can score and get his numbers because he's so active. So what are you telling your team to try to keep their confidence up after this victory? Uh, I think the thing right now isn't so much about keeping their confidence up. It's to look at tape and come back and let them get a feel for what happened in the game and then make some adjustments and go from there. They, their, their confidence shouldn't be shattered anything. They're, they're six and one, they're off to a great start. They played some outstanding basketball. We had a bad game, we had a bad game tonight. So uh, we we're not gonna go undefeated uh, during the whole year. So we just gotta kind of bounce back and get going again. Coming out of the time out with about 2.30 left, you guys were down 10. Uh, Malachi took a, a contested shot. Uh, did you think that was a good look? And did you think that uh, you guys still had a chance down the stretch? Of that? I, I didn't think it was a good look. I mean, he had hit a couple of deep ones. And when you got players of that magnitude, they want to take over the game and do it. Robo, at, at six seven and a pure shooter, a little bit more easier getting his shot off at that kind of size. So I thought it was a tough shot to take out of a timeout. And we, we had a play on for him to pull the trigger like that was a tough one for us. So again, another teaching point for him. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.